Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Tonight we're going to discuss my five favorite whiskeys that we have down here at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar for 2021. Now, keep this in mind. We've already done our five favorite Scotch whiskeys of 2021, and Trent will put a link up somewhere if you haven't seen that video. And I want to tell you right now, it's going to be a great show, but not today, Thursday, but the following Thursday, we're going to put out our five favorite bourbons of 2021. It's going to be fantastic. We had several of my friends and family down here at the bar taste testing to try to find out what our five favorite bourbons are for 2021 and that'll be on next Thursday's video but for tonight what we want to do is discuss our five favorite whiskeys so whiskeys will include anything other than scotch whiskey and bourbon so excluding those two categories my five favorite whiskeys an SLB basement bourbon bar of 2021 hey before we get started do me a favor and just check out our patreon page uh, there's a lot of cool stuff there, a lot of neat perks. You can find the link in the description just below. And thank you to all those who have already helped us in supporting the show on our Patreon page. Thanks so much for that. So let's get started on tonight's list, man. I'm excited about this. I've got a lot of cool stuff for you. The very first bottle that I want to bring out for you tonight is actually New Riff, Kentucky Straight Malted Rye Whiskey. This particular bottle cost me around 60 bucks. And it comes in at 100 proof because it is bottled in bond. It has been aged for at least six years and it's made with 100% malted rye and it is also non-chill filtered. Now, I really wanted to highlight New Riff uh, on this show because I, I really love what they're doing with their rye whiskeys there. I also have a Balboa rye that I have a previous show on. I think, Trent, you could probably link that somewhere up there as well if you haven't seen that. That didn't quite make my top five, but they've really been doing some really neat stuff with rye whiskeys. And this one, they use 100% malted rye. So... I wanted to put it out here because there's a lot of comments that I get that some of you folks just don't like the spiciness and the rye, the rye whiskey per se. So I want to let you know this particular rye whiskey is, it does have a hint of rye spice at the beginning, just a very mellow rye spice, but it follows suit right away with some cocoa powder and some, some real malty warmth there and then finishes off with some clove. It's just a real, it's more of an elegant rye whiskey. And it's got a, it's just got a really nice warming effect to the whiskey itself. And I really, really like this. Balboa rye is also very nice from a new rip, but this particular malted rye is a beautiful, beautiful pour. All right. We're going to move on from that. The very next bottle that I want to highlight, hey, you guys know Trent, man. He's out and about and he gets these bottles, man. He's out there and he scours the town and he finds them. That's all I can say. This is another one that he found. High West's special release at Midwinter Night's Dram Act 9. This is the 2021 release from High West. Man, what a great find again from Trenton. This particular bottle cost Trenton about a hundred bucks and it comes in at 98.6 proof. And what it is, it's High West Rendezvous Rye and it's finished in both Ruby and Tawny Port barrels for an additional one to two years. This particular bottle is a non-age statement whiskey. What you have here is similar to what we had with the new Riff. It's not real spicy. You don't get a huge amount of rice spice up front. You just get a little spicy kick, but then it immediately kind of kind of follows suit with the red fruits. You get a, like a red apple and, 
and maybe a red raspberry, I'm sure because of the uh, finish process with the port barrels. But then right after that, it moves into a really warm baking spice type note and finishes off with a beautiful caramel note. It's really, really a beautiful, beautiful release. And for me, that is one of the top five of our favorite whiskeys here for 2021. I'm really excited about the next one. It's an Irish whiskey. I've got Blue Spot Cask Strength. This Blue Spot Cask Strength cost me roughly about 90 bucks. And it comes in at 117 proof. It is a single pot still Irish whiskey that's been aged for at least seven years in bourbon barrels, sherry butts, and Madeira casks. This particular whiskey is also non-chill filtered. This by far, for me, I, I only have a few editions of Irish whiskey this year, but by far this has been my favorite. As you can tell, this came out I think in February, Trenton, something like that. Yeah, and I already hit that a few times. I really, really love it. I, 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 I like to drink this neat, I really do. And, and it comes in with 117 proof. It's a little spicy up front, but it's very oily and rich. It has some berries and tropical flavors to it, but then it also kicks in with a little bit of almond note and a little bit of chocolate as well. And it's hard for me to say because I really like I really like all the different spots that come out. Green spot, yellow spot. I don't have the red spot, but green spot I like. Yellow spot is so so good, but this one is is absolutely my favorite and my favorite Irish whiskey that was added down here in 2021. All right, moving on to the next one. I've got Barrel Seagrass. This particular release from Barrel run me about 90 bucks and it is 119 proof. It's a blend of rye whiskeys distilled in Canada and Kentucky, which are finished separately in Martinique rum, Madeira, and apricot brandy casks. You gotta be a little bit careful, I think, when you're dealing with uh, barrel releases, because some of them I find have been very, very good. Uh, Dovetail, for example, another release they had that I thought was pretty darn good. But some of them are just okay. I don't think I've ever had any that's been bad, but Armida is, a, is an example uh, of, a, of a finished whiskey that they had that I thought was just okay. It was a little bit dark and a little bit funky. So you got to be careful and do your research. But man, let me tell you something. This barrel seagrass is just phenomenal. And to me, it's kind of like a, a summer whiskey. Um, it, it, it's very multi-layered. It comes in with some bright red fruits and raspberries. And then it hits you with a little bit of vanilla and molasses. But it follows up at the end with like a real beautiful and sweet apricot jam. It's really, really a, a cool release from barrel. And, and believe, what I did too, which I which I like to do, and this is a, is a very, very awesome summer type of a, of a drink, but I'll pour a couple ounces of this, of this barrel whiskey and then I'll add just a teaspoon of pineapple syrup to it to kind of, to kind of uh, relate to that whole tropical vibe that you get going on with this particular whiskey and you can sip that in the summertime and, and be a beautiful summer drink. This this particular whiskey to me has been really really a nice addition for 2021. All right last but not least and this has to be my absolute favorite edition of 2021. I've got Amrut Potma. This particular release from Amroot is a single cask and it is a collector series. Now, this one did run me a little bit more money. This was 180 bucks and it is 113 proof. It's a seven year unpeated Indian single malt whiskey and it's been aged in port pipes. This particular bottle is only the second Indian whiskey that I have bought and is down here at SLB. The first one is uh, Paul John. Bold, I believe it is, which is also very good. But man, I bought this only just a few weeks ago. 
and you can see I've already I've already dove into a little bit but this is just ridiculously good I'm so glad I bought it I was wavering a little bit because it a little is a little bit more money but I researched and it really sounded great and my god it really really is it's extremely rich it's a very creamy mouth feel there's so many different flavor profiles you can pull out of this some of which are figs fruit cake some raisins toffee i mean it is loaded with flavor and it's just a beautiful just a beautiful beautiful pour that absolutely has to be my favorite whiskey that i that i added here at slb basement bourbon bar in the year of 2021 if you ever see that anywhere and i know it's a collector's series so it might be hard to find, but if you come across it anywhere, I, I definitely am gonna be buying more of this Amru products because this thing is just fabulous. There's just no more I can say about it. It's just the accolades just won't keep coming because it's just beautiful, beautiful pour. Hey, that's all I have for you tonight. I certainly appreciate you watching. There it is, my five favorite whiskeys at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar in 2021. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, let's join some join the fun here. We're just having a good time. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We certainly would appreciate that. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.